We're on 8th Street where there is still flooding here in downtown Passaic. This is the area that was of most concern to the mayor. Overnight, you take a look and you still see a car that is stuck in the water. Uh, mayor Hector Laura confirmed one person has died overnight. Firefighters tried to rescue three people from a car that went past a barricade and became stuck in the water. Firefighters managed to pull out two people, but a third was swept under the car and could not be rescued. Two people may have also been swept away by a a brook that leads into the Passaic River. Firefighters are right now investigating their whereabouts, and divers will be out in the river at 9 a.m. to search. 60 people are now taking temporary shelter in City Hall after being evacuated around 2 o'clock this morning. Mayor Laura said the storm was just unique in its intensity. Uh, we started with pragmatic um, preparation on Monday, cleaning out our storm drains, our inlets, and ensuring the roads would be clear. But again, the intensity and, uh, and how much rain that we received in such a short period of time resulted in the loss of life and obviously challenges that we will continue to face in the next few days. And now there are also concerns over floodgates opening up up county that may impact here down county in Passaic. So uh, there's still a lot that's going to have to be done here uh, in Passaic. The mayor said it's unclear if and when people will be able to get back into their homes. We don't know yet the extent of the damage. And again, divers will be back out at 9 o'clock to look for those two individuals who remain missing. Reporting live in Passaic, New Jersey, Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.